Hello everyone. I hope somebody comes in to join me tonight. Oh, I am back. I am back and I am ready to stamp. <laughs> How about that? Let me just get my iPad up. I got the iPad going. I got the laptop going. <laughs> I got lots of stuff going on. I have so much to tell you. I hope everyone can join me. If not, if you're watching on the replay, I have lots of crap on my desk. It's like stickiness. Who was stamping when I wasn't here? Um, I have lots to tell. So come on in as you're coming in. Be sure to say hello. Let me know that you're here. Hello, Mary. Welcome. So good to see you. So glad to be back. <laughs> it's been some exciting few days. So I'm happy to be here with everyone. Um, lots going on. Lots going on. I actually made a little list so I don't forget anything. So I hope you are doing well. I hope you're staying cool. I think I brought the hot weather back with me. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Hello, hello. So we'll just do a, a few minutes here in the beginning just um, while we wait for um, those of you to come in. So yes, it's been an exciting few days. I made it back. Thank you. Hello, Fran. I know what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but I hope you will share a little bit. Well, yes, um, the wedding of the century happens. Um, my daughter and Mike got married, so big congratulations to them. And I'm so excited that I was able to attend the wedding. Um, it, was, it was so nerve-wracking, and a blink of an eye, and it was done and over, and I'm still pinching myself. I can't believe it. That number when I was there, we had a great time. The weather was hot. Um, Almost didn't have a border for Aurora, because when I went, they didn't have her down for boarding. But anyhow, we won't go into that. That's how the whole trip started, and um, no issues going down, which was all I was worried about. Coming back, however, was another story. Um, American Airlines is having their problems, and I was in the midst of it all. I ended up spending an extra day in Arizona because my flight had been postponed, and then I did not have a connecting flight. So um, I ended up spending an extra day on vacation, if you want to call it that, in a hotel room in Arizona. And um, so lots of delays, lots of stuff going on. So anyone that is traveling um, on the way down, I was worried about not having my luggage. So I packed all extra clothes and everything. However, going home, I thought, oh, I'm going home. I won't need to. Well, I wish I did. But um, ended up flying home. Instead of American Airlines, I flew home on Delta, which thank you, Delta Airlines. <laughs> That's all we could say about that. So the wedding was wonderful. Um, I was able to be there for their pre-wedding um, jitters, along with pre-wedding um, things that they had to do before the wedding and also there after the wedding. And we did a lot of sightseeing. We had a great time. We were so busy. Never, ever got to the pool. Um, the days went by so quickly, and they were just fun-filled days. And um, I'm just so grateful I was able to go. So Aurora's home, and today is Aurora's adoptiversary. So back in 2017, I adopted Aurora on this very day. So we did a little celebrating, her and I. And uh, Dory's is coming up on the 23rd of this month. So we'll do more celebrating with Dory, which I got her in 2016. I adopted her. So um, lots of fun things. So anyhow, um, thank you to everyone sending your well wishes and listening to my ranting and raving <laughs> through Facebook. But sometimes you just got to rant and rave. It just makes it all that better, right? And when you look back... It's just the little things, and the little things really weren't, they were big at the time, but when you look back, they, you know, I, I was just worried about getting there and being there for the wedding, and coming home was whatever was going to happen was going to happen, so anyhow, reach my destination home safely, and that's all that matters. Oh my God, isn't Aurora the best? So anyhow, um, I wrote a few things down, I have a lot to tell you. Um, there's a new host code. So the July host code is very odd. It's JZP2VAWW. 
Now the easiest way to um, place an order and to use the host code is use the link that I have posted here on Facebook. If your order is $35 or more before shipping and tax, you will receive a PDF tutorial. And I know I was very late in sending out June's, but I'm proud of myself. I got it out to everyone and posted before the end of June. So July, there's a brand new one that's um, posted. So if you use the host code when you're placing an order of 35 or more, I will email that to you. I like to send them out in a batch. Um, you know, if you, if you request that you want to have it earlier, you know, you put the order in and you want to have it right away, you know, just let me know. Um, otherwise, I send them out in a batch a little bit toward the end of the month. Um, big sale going on. Big sale is the designer series paper sale. And there are select designer series papers that you can get at 15% off. One of them being the, um, I'm looking for it now. Okay, so maybe I wasn't all that prepared that I thought it was. One of them is this paper pack right here. This one is the Bloom Where Your Plants designer series paper. And can I tell you how much I absolutely love this paper pack that I ordered a couple before realizing that it was going to be in the sale but you know it is so wonderful i didn't care i get my demonstrator discount but now you can save 15 percent off you need more dsp if you place an order of dsp throughout the month i have a tutorial to send you an additional tutorial it's making 14 cards using your designer series paper not wasting one single centimeter millimeter whatever the smallest nothing is wasted so i will send that to you absolutely free i'm thinking of maybe doing a demonstration of that if you if there's enough um, people interested so it is called pick six wonder and it's a cutting guide to show you how to cut your six by six paper and you will get 14 different cards out of it and i did it last night um, online with uh, Stampin' Up! members and it took us about, well it took me less than two hours because I didn't get started till late but I caught up real quick with them. So I'll send you that tutorial. I'm going to show you the cards using that Bloom Where You're Planted designer series paper. Speaking of which, the class for July is, in-person class is Bloom Where You Are Planted. It's going to be Friday, July 16th at 6.30 p.m. The cost is $20, and I'm going to show you what the cards are that you're going to make because I got busy before I got I went away to, um, yeah, the tutorial is really fun. One of the perks of being a demonstrator with Stampin' Up, and you're all welcome to join me. So the class in July, let me give you a sneak peek. Here are the cards we're going to make. We're going to be focusing on the Plentiful Plants stamp set, and can I tell you how much fun I have had playing with this? So here's one of the cards, um, really simple, cute, and when you come to class, everything will be pre-cut. Hopefully everything is cut the right way. Sometimes I make boo-boos. Um, here's the inside for that. Everything will be pre-cut for you, ready for you to assemble. We'll go step by step through the cards, and um, you're going to love it. Here's a second card. So I have four cards, and I usually give you some sort of little surprise, a little something extra for attending. Here's a cute little thank you card. So this one is to a dear friend. This one is thank you, a little note with the biggest thanks. And look at how cute these, these die cuts are. Oh my gosh, you're going to love them. Um, here's another card using that designer series paper. This is designer series paper. So you can order your paper now, so then when you come to class, you'll make the cards, and you can go home and make even, even more. So look at that fun background on that one, and here's the inside. So I'm gonna show you this fun technique about sponging on um, an embossing, embossed image. And this one, I'm like thrilled to pieces with this one. This is a double Z card. So um, I've been, that is on there, but look at this card how cute this card is and I'll show you it from the top down so it actually stands up like this and it's a double Z fold card you think you can't make this you are wrong because you can make this so and here's the back just to give you um, a sample and this is where you would sign it and this will fit in a standard envelope 
So if you're interested in coming to class and making all of those, definitely check it out. It's $20, all supplies are included. All you need to bring along is your basic stamping kit. Let me show you a few more cards I did. These are not in the class, but um, I don't know if you all know, but my daughter is very much into plants, so she needed some thank you cards from the wedding. And um, of course, you know, this was the first set that came to mind. So these were, um, when I was creating, these were a couple extras that I made. So here it is, designer series paper. So this is all designer series paper, this whole background. Um, even this little pot underneath. Isn't this cute? This is designer series paper, so you're definitely going to want to add that. And look at how cute for the inside. So these were some of my prototypes. You know, you can't just make one. Um, here's another one. Focusing all on that designer series paper, I'm telling you. This this is so much fun. Yeah, I know I've referred to things before like paper dolls. This is the plant paper doll making kit because these are like making paper dolls with plants. And um, so fun. Here's the inside. And again, that's designer series paper. So you're going to definitely want to add that to your list. And then how about this fun one? Here's like a double pot on here. And again, all designer series paper and the die cuts using the stamp set here's the stamp set plentiful plants so really cute and it has coordinating dies isn't that super cute and here's the inside so a really really fun upcoming class and even the bricks yes same paper pack all of these this one here and this one here all of these are that designer series paper pack that you can save 15 percent off so don't get one get two and then i'll also forward to you um the tutorial to um let me put all this aside because then my desk gets like triple quadruple so um here is the, tu the tutorial pick six wonder cutting guide and instructions and a sample i'm not just going through quick so you can get a little peek of that and let me show you the cards that I made with that. You're going to be amazed. You don't need a whole lot. So there are, um, let me see how many there are. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Is there four different kinds? Well, we'll just go through them. So um, these are the cards that that tutorial will show you how to make. And um, you can make them to how you want to make them. Uh, so there's three of this design. So you do the math. Hi, Lori. Okay, three of those. And then there's one, two. I don't want to go off the paper here. Three. Let me bring it down a little. Four of that design. Okay. And then we have this design. One, two, three, three of that design. And then we have this one. Look at the cute little heart. This heart, you do not need any dies, any punches, any anything. I will show you how to do those hearts. There's one, two, three of that one. And then even the littlest, teeniest, tiny scraps we make a final card out of that one. And that is using that Bloom Where You're Planted designer series paper. But you can use any designer series paper you have. And if you notice, I used four different types of cardstock. I did one with white and I used coordinating cardstock. So you can use three or four different backgrounds for your cardstock bases and make these really fun, cute cards. I mean, it was less than two hours. All of these cards were made. And I will show you how. Well, I will give you the tutorial and, you know, perhaps even maybe do um, a video to do step by step. And you'll get that whole tutorial absolutely free by ordering any designer series paper for this month only. Okay, so what else is going on? Oh, my goodness. There is so much going on. Being a demonstrator, we were able to pre-order today from the celebration. And from the new upcoming um, uh, August, it's August to December mini catalog. Now, many of you may say, I thought it was July. It was supposed to be, but because of all the issues going on with customs and shipping, um, it's pushed back to a month. 
So the mini catalog will be August to December. If you want to join the Stampin' Up! family, now is a great time because you can pre-order from for your kit from the new catalog. We also were able to earn our celebration items being a demonstrator. Celebration is going to run from August 3rd through September 30th. So you'll be hearing a lot more about that. Um, so then the next, the class I have, I just told you about is um, in July. If you want to find out on, about any of the upcoming events, just check my Facebook page under events. You will see them. I was online ordering at 3 a.m. as well. Actually, I got up at 2 and thought it was 2. Then went back to sleep for another hour and then woke up at 3 a.m. and ordered. So I have my order in and um, I will do an unboxing when it comes. Um, the uh, August class is going to be the Beauty of the Earth Suite class. So that is focusing on Beauty of the Earth Suite. That is going to be in August. And guess what? Back by popular demand is in-person bingo! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. That is going to be Sunday, September 12th at 1 o'clock p.m. So it's going to be focusing on celebration and the holiday catalog. So um, all the information about all those events is posted on my Facebook page under events. Now, say the bingo is going to have a limited number only. So if you're interested in, in the bingo event or any other classes, they are limited as to how many can attend. And um, I would definitely recommend you checking them out and registering ASAP for that. So it's going to be fun. Um, I'm working on all the preliminaries right now as to, you know, you always get free product. You get a good bag at bingo. We play um, bingo games and you get prizes and it's just a lot of fun. So I hope that paper is on the 15th. It is. I'm pretty sure it's on the 15% off list, Mary. I can check it out while I'm on here. But um, I had it pulled up, but then I closed it out. Let me um, look here. On. I'm pretty sure it was. Now, now you have me second guessing myself. I'm going to pull it up. Okay. Um, so the designer series paper sale starts today. And the papers, yes it is. Um, let me see if I can bring my laptop underneath here. So we have In the Wild, The Bloom Where You Are Planted. Oh, that's not touch screen, Susan. Um, Tidings of Christmas. So tidings of Christmas, you you're a peach, sweet symmetry, beauty of the earth, which is going to be next month's class, um, hand penned, pansy petals, and oh my gosh, the in good taste designer series paper. So all of those are all fifteen percent off. So um, the standard sizes, which are the in the wild and bloom where you're planted. They are originally $11.50. They're on sale for $9.78. And the In Good Taste, which is a, a larger paper pack, is normally $21.99. And it's on sale for $17.85. So even check out the Tidings of Christmas. Stock up on your Christmas paper. So that is the paper that's on sale. So how exciting. Okay. So have I forgotten anything? Oh, there is a new Mary Post. And Mary, I just, I just almost had tears in my eyes. She posted the monthly card swap theme for this month is birthday. So if you're wondering, what is that? That is a swap that we do. Um, anyone is invited to join. And all you have to do is to sign up for it. Or if you're brand new, just let me know. And myself or Mary will add you. Um, oh, thanks. <laughs> we will add you to the group, and all you have to do is send one card. There's a list. You will sign up on the list, and you send to the person below you. All the information's on there. So in order to be a part of the um, the swap group, there's a separate uh, private pay Facebook page for that, and you'll be added to that and send one card, and you receive one card. And the cards are then posted on the Facebook page, so you get to see all the cards that are sent out and be filled with lots of inspiration. And it's absolutely free. You just have to make a card and send the card, right? And get a card. So it's really great. Um, so yeah, so it's birthday. And I wonder why it's birthday for July. Hmm. Anyhow, you have to join to find out why. 
So, uh, many of you know I was supposed to get home from my trip on Monday. However, I spent an extra day on vacation, if you want to call it that, um, in Arizona due to flight problems. So, I had the kids yesterday and had to pick them up and um, had so much to do and Michelle came and finally got the kids so I really didn't have time to prepare but I did not want to miss out on Facebook live so kits to the rescue right how many have been there you don't have time you need cards but you know so check out our new kits we have all different types of kits you can choose from and they will change periodically very excited FYI to see the Christmas ones that are coming out in the holiday catalog. Oh my gosh, you're going to love them. So I thought, let's just pull out a box and um, pulled out one. And oh, we have the Notes of Cheer card kit. So this kit is, oh, it's not, you're not going to find it in any catalog. You have to find it through my online store. So if you're wanting to place an order, which I would really appreciate, Go to stampinsuecreates.stampinup.net and you can find all of the kits on there. They're reasonably priced and this one is no stamping whatsoever. You're like, but what? Stampin' Up! is a rubber stamp company, right? Well, this is one of those kits where you do not have to stamp anything. So normally um, the kit would include the block, it would include adhesive, it would include an ink pad, it would include a stamp set and all the materials to create along with instructions and a video that you can watch. Some of them, like this one, and I know I've already opened this one, let me just take it all out, um, will not include any stamping items. So, um, they're very, very affordable. And look, it comes with the envelopes. So, um, I know I've shown this one before, but look at these pretty envelopes. They have a lining on the inside. So, I thought, let's make some cards from one of the kits. And this one is brand new. A lot of them are kind of reverted to what um, Paper Pumpkin is. So, if you love Paper Pumpkin kits and maybe have not been involved with Paper Pumpkin, you can pick up some of those kits as well. So we have three different designs that we're gonna make. And look at this one. Oh my gosh, can you like, look, it's a butterfly card. Oh, aren't they cute? And look at the, look at this. This looks like, remember the pastels that I did? This looks like someone took the pastels and just went right over the top of it. So this is what this card kit is gonna make. And um, I have not looked at anything ahead of time, so I thought let's make this together. So let me zhush that off to the side. Um, I would recommend if you're brand new watching, um, a bone folder, which helps you to make a nice sharp crease. And I should glue my paper down because it's just going to be, I'm going to be chasing it here. Um, and if you're watching on the replay, be sure to type in hashtag replay so that I know and if you're watching on YouTube, then um, also be sure to leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Um, let me know what you think about this kit. Has Does anyone have this kit at all? Have you kind of overlooked it or maybe didn't even notice that it was there? This paper has got to gotta have some glue on it because it's just going to keep wiggling. I'm going to use a little bit of my seal. And I'm just going to stick it on. There we go. That'll settle that problem, right? So let's see. Okay. So we have three of those. I do love it. Oh, Kathy, did you make them yet? I might need your help putting them together. So, yes, it's a wonderful time to join the Stampin' Up! family. And as a uh, member of my Sweet Bee Stampers team, I'm not, I'm not sticking. Um, the tutorials that I provide every month, being a member of my Sweet Bee Stampers team, you would get them automatically free every month as a little perk for being a member. Okay, so we got that. The envelopes we can put aside. So we have these real pretty die cuts. So it looks like we have four of them. And I don't know, uh, is it four or three? Maybe three. I'm assuming they may go on this. 
I'm just assuming. Okay. Oh, and then we have these die cuts. Let's check these out. So this box does not have any stamp sets, nor does it have an ink spot. Okay. And I'm going to be giving these cards away, one of each. And look at how pretty these are. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe this might go on the white plain one. I'm going to do a little giveaway. Because what fun is it making cards if you don't send them? And who? Oh, here comes someone. And um, I'm very guilty of that. Oh, FYI. So it is now speaking. What is going on, you two? They're like, they missed each other so much. Dory had so much to say. Um, what was I going to say? Mm, what was I saying? Oh, paper pumpkins. So if you like these kind of kits, definitely check out our paper pumpkin subscription box, which comes every month. As of today, I have not yet received my paper pumpkin kit. So all I did is I went online, and um, I'm not sure if customers could do it, but look at these. Look at how pretty these are. Being a demonstrator, there's a chat feature. And I just went on and I chatted and I said, you know, it's July 1st and I haven't received my paper pumpkin. And um, right away she said, oh, let me check on it. She came back. She goes, yep, it hasn't moved from the 18th of July. So, uh, June, I'm sorry. So they are going to send me out um, another kit. So how about that? How about that for customer service? They're going to send me out another one. So that's why you have not seen my unboxing yet. So I'm not sure if I'm going to need my snips. You may want to add paper snips. And what am I looking for? Um, I'm a little rusty because I have not been really stamping since I got home. Because I just got home. And a little take your pick tool. So um, it is great customer service. They're like, yep, I see that it hasn't moved from its destination where it had been. So right away, they're going to send me out another one. Okay, so we have some little Stampin' Dimensionals. And then um, here are the words, the, the greetings. So if you notice, they come in all different languages because Paper Pumpkin is all over the world. So we are going to need um, You Make Life Brighter. So, I mean, you definitely can use the rest of these. You can certainly use the back of them. You can sponge them. I mean, I would not throw them away. Um, you know, you could even layer something over the top of the sayings. Or maybe you have a friend that um, speaks one of these other languages, if you know what they are. Um, and they just, just pop out. You can send them a card. How fun would that be if, you know, someone that speaks French, you send them, you know, a little French saying. Don't ask me, because I don't know French. I did take mm, maybe a half a year of Spanish, which was... Mm, mm, a few years, quite a few years ago in high school. <laughs> so uh, I would not throw these away. Definitely not. Okay, and then we have these little sayings. And this one says, you're on my mind. Oh my gosh, look how cute these are. Wait, let me get my paper pierce tool. The paper pumpkin is always very nice. Look, you poke out. You definitely need a paper um, uh, piercing tool out these little holes on here but um, paper pumpkin is always something different it's like getting a surprise in your mailbox every month because you never know what you're going to get and if you want to save yourself some money you can um, do multiple subscriptions where you pay ahead of time and they just automatically come to you if maybe one month you're maybe going to be away or you know you usually get a little sneak peek as to what they're going to be and um, I think it would be easier if I just poke them out on here. And um, you, you weren't interested in that month. All you have to do, it's all done online. They go by your email address. Just go online and just say that you want to skip that month. And it will automatically just resume for the next month. So, um, so otherwise, if, you know, it's in your budget. I mean, it's, it's what is it, $22 only? I think it's $22. But um, really fun kit. You get items in there that aren't normally a part of the Stampin' Up! catalog. You'll get exclusive stamp sets that you can only get through Paper Pumpkin. And um, they're just a lot of fun. And I normally do an unboxing. So as soon as I get mine, I'll unbox it. And I like to do alternative ideas. And I share them with you as well. Because maybe 
what they had proposed the kit to be might not be what you know is your cup of tea so I show you alternative ideas using the kit now all these little doohickeys are all over the place okay. and I got one under my nail okay <laughs> So yes, okay, so now these are, I am here for you today and always. Well, that's so nice. So let's pop those out. Um, oh, they have them all together, these. So there's no stamping with this. This is just some assembly required. Um, 22, yes, $22. And that's the shipping included. So where can you get a, a kit to craft $22? use many of the sentiments from previous paper pumpkin kits yeah I like the alternative ideas you can get so many more cards out of the kit yes you can I totally agree and there's also a Facebook page there's a paper pumpkin Facebook page so even if you're not a paper pumpkin subscriber you can go and check that out and see what see what all you know you've missed out and one of the other things is once you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you can back go back into previous kits, and if they're available, you can order them. So, although it's not always kits are available because they're very popular. All right, so here's our instructions. Notes of Cheer card kit, and um, they revamped this in that it's in color. So whether you like to read or not, I don't like to read. I like to look at pictures. So step-by-step, step, they show you how to put the cards together. And then on the back shows you everything that's included. There's a QR code that you can scan to tell you all about, um, if you're a beginner to Stampin' Up, how learn how to do basic stamping, um, stamping, just basic stamping. Or there's, this is the one for this kit that you can watch detailed instructions. And they tell you what coordinates the different colors and um okay i think i'm just going to look at the picture and um see how this goes okay so let's start with this I'll put that aside let's start with this one here and i i think i was correct in that that went with that okay so these are going to go this way. All right, so let's get our base card. And to me, it's looking like they put dimensionals in the corner and dimensionals on the back. And boom, the card is done. Isn't that pretty? I love these. Butterflies just seem to be so popular anymore. And um, okay, so we're going to flip it over. And here's our little mini dimensionals. So it looks like they have one in each corner. So you know what? Let's do that. So there's one. We'll do like assembly line fashion. Because if you're on the go and you need a quick card, this is the way to do it. And maybe not put a sentiment on it. Maybe have them in your stash. So when a birthday comes up, you can say, let that one come off. I'll just throw a happy birthday on there and I got a card already made. And this, the box that it comes in is great for storage. You can keep your cards in there so you know where everything is at, ready to go when you need to send a card. Okay, so that and um, the saying. Okay, where did they go? Oh, there they are. Looks like the saying has two dimensionals as well. So let's line those up here. So how is everyone doing? How is everyone surviving this heat? I apologize if I brought this back with me from Vegas. But um, I always said, you know, how everyone says in Vegas, you know, if it's 114 degrees, it's not hot, there's no humidity. And you know what? Experiencing the humidity this morning when I had to step out the door to go to work, I was like, you know, they are right. Because when I stepped out the door this morning to go to work, Oh my gosh. I mean, it was only in the 70s, but the humidity was god awful. Just saying. Awful, awful. Okay, so we're going to put this on here. 
And um, then let's see, let's do our little saying. So it looks like the saying is going to go down here. You're on my mind. I don't think I peeled that off. So I came home from work and like I'm still, I think, on that. You know, they say you get jet lag. I think I'm on like Vegas time. I don't know what I'm on. But oh, I was so busy at work today because nobody does my job when I'm not there. And there's just so much work to do. And um, I just had something quick to eat and I laid on the couch. And well, you know what happens when you lay on the couch? Well, what happens to me is I fell asleep. And I was in such a deep sleep that I woke up and I was like, oh my gosh, what time is it? Did I miss my Facebook Live? <laughs> that was all I was worried about. I didn't want to miss my Facebook Live. And um, I woke up and I did not know what day it was, where I was, what time it was. I was like, wait a minute, what's today? Is today Saturday? No. I'm like, oh, that's right, I work today. But say Monday? No. You know, like how you're just so knocked out. Um, that you're in like a total fog. And that was me today. Total fog. You can feel your electric bill up as I stay in there. Oh, I know. It was miserable. Cold and rainy in Michigan. I was glad to get back to the heat. Oh, it is way too hot. And you know what? You just got to do the air conditioning, you know? I mean, why suffer if you haven't? Okay, so now it looks like, oh, these little embellishments. We're going to use those on the card. I forgot about them. And let's see. Looks like they did one, two, five of them. They did all five. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to use my little take your pick tool, um, which comes with other types of um, different pieces you can add. Here's a little, um, this is a little scraper thing. When I was working pastel chalks, and those of you that attended my in-person class, I used a nut grinder. You know what? I've been playing. This little thing scrapes on your pastel chalks beautifully. So think about that. Okay, so we're going to put... Um, where did they put them? I know, it doesn't matter. You know how we are, though? We want to make it look just like how they did it. But you know what? This is your card. You put them where you want. One, two... Three, four, just scatter them about. And whenever you're doing little embellishments like this, always do um, odd numbers. Now look at that. There we go. There's our first card. You're on my mind and in my heart. And look at how pretty that is. Okay, and let's go ahead and um, let's do the rest. Do odd numbers when you're using little embellishments like this. Like do, you know, three, five, seven, that kind of thing. Um, because it kind of, um, when you have like odd numbers, it's just, I don't know, it just does something to the eye. And I mean, you know, it just makes your eye kind of flow like a, you know, like, you know what I mean? I don't know what they call that all, but, you know, like that. So there's number two. Did I do one, two, three, four, five? Yes. Number two. Pretty. And the last one for this. One, two, three. So, oh my gosh, this weekend is already 4th of July. I don't have any plans, and I'm okay with that because I'm still trying to get myself together. But, um, so there we go. There are the three of these cards already put together. No stamping. Um, anyone can do this. Great project for the kiddos whether you have kids grandchildren whatever so that is our first card so yay look what we did it um all right so here's the next one is the butterfly shape and it looks like all we're doing is let me grab those did i do that right yeah, I did. I was looking at this and I'm like, let me just look. Yeah, I did that right. Well, I, there's no wrong way. There's no right or wrong, right? Okay. So next is the butterfly card. So we have three of those. 
And it looks like all you're going to do with this is you make life brighter. Two, three of those. And they put dimensionals on these. Okay. All right. So, anybody have any plans? Oh, hi, April. A sequin? No, it's not a sequin. Um, they are, um, wait, hold on a sec. They're, they're kind of like our rhinestones, but they're, um, let me see what they call them. Because Lord knows my mind isn't working. Do they have it listed on here? They're, they're not sequins. They're like gems. They're, I think you would call them gems. Okay. They would be, um, uh, what do you call them? Faceted gems. There we go. Faceted gems. So they have, you know, a little bit of dimension to them and lots and lots of sparkle. So they remind me of our rhinestones because they sparkle so much. So we're going to put five little dimensionals on here. That's how many they use, so we'll go with that. And so you notice the only additional item that I've used so far is the Take Your Pick tool, just for the convenience of that. And you can actually use the Take Your Pick tool to pick off these backings. Sometimes I struggle with that. You just kind of poke it in your dimensional and flick it off. I think they all came off. You can remove your backings real easy. Like that. Get them off. So rather than struggling, struggling if you have arthritis or you have some fine dexterity problems, that can help you. Lord knows I do, right? Okay, so it looks like they have this down. Uh, down here. Well, perhaps I shouldn't have put them near the end like that. Oh, they didn't. They used four. Okay, my bad. My bad. So this little one, where's that? I'm not going to waste these. I'm going to stick them back on here. So only use four. See, I, for, I didn't think that it overextends from the back. So if you can save it, save it. If not, well, I'll get that off later. You make life brighter. So now I know. Take those off. And. Whew. Okay. So only use four. So let me move it up here. Okay. Take those off. Oh my goodness. It's sticking to me. Kind of like the weather. Sticks to you. <laughs> Okay, now we're back in business. You make life brighter. And last one. You make life brighter. I think I need one more there. Is it straight? Okay. And it looks like, do we put, yes, we put one, two, three, four, five of those little gems. I guess five's the magical number on these, right? So one, two, three, uh, three. <laughs> That's the hardest part of the whole card, deciding where to put the little embellishments, right? Oh, I picked that up, five. Okay, so there is that card. Now how pretty. All right, so let's put the rest of them on. So definitely check out these kits. And like I said, you won't find them in the catalog. They're only available online. While well, supplies last, and um, they will be replenishing different kits throughout the year. So there will always be some fun kits to choose from. So that's num number two. And then this one. And they always give you more than enough supplies. So you never have to worry about running out of supplies. 
because a lot of times um, there's extras and I think there'll be extra gems and then when you buy the ones that have the stamp set and the ink pad then you have those so there, there are those three butterflies you make life brighter so cute okay so what do we have left we have left this is why I was confused because I was looking at that okay we have the last and final card design which there are one two three these are basic white card bases and it looks like they take these and look at if you don't like this color you can turn it over and you could sponge the back of this or you can do like a white on white or you know think you know of other things or you know if you don't feel like you want to be adventurous just do as they suggested and make the cards that they said so in these little corners you'll see that um they have a little spot there and you know maybe these are glue dots let me see maybe these are glue dots yeah i think they are okay i'm gonna put these look at me i'm like really having my issues tonight huh because i'm thinking these are kind of going to be showing okay so let's use the glue dots for that this will be flat so i might take your pick tool they have these little glue dots on here and boy these are magical I use these whenever I'm going to glue vellum because for some reason these little flat um, glue dots, they don't show through the vellum like our standard glue dots do. Okay, so put one in each corner. You will not see those. I love that. So anyhow, um, faceted. Oh yeah, the gems. Mm -hmm. They were. They're faceted gems. So they give a nice nice shine oh now aurora has decided to come in here and be a part of the stamping tonight so. aurora are you biting your feet i think she gets like a nervous thing and she bites her feet okay so for those okay so yeah the little dark ones are the glue dots and then these are the dimensionals so let's put this on our cards and then we'll work with the sayings. So this little tool is ideal for picking off the backs of all of these little things that you would otherwise be struggling. So if you don't have one of these, definitely get yourself one. Take your pick tool is what it's called. Okay, so let's see. Make sure, card, make sure your card opens the right way. How do I know that that? Well, I've done that. I'm just like you guys. I make mistakes too. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, I love that. And such lacy, delicate, laser cut piece. And you didn't have to have one of those uh, embossing and die cut machines. It's, the work's already done for you. Sometimes being a demonstrator, I appreciate that as well. While I love all my little tools and gadgets, I sometimes like to have the work done for me as well. So pretty. And it doesn't matter which way you put it on because if you notice the one I put, you know, that way and one that way, it don't matter. It don't matter. But I love the colors of this. They're so soft pleasing and I know I would love to get one of these cards in the mail maybe I'll send one to myself has anybody ever done that have you ever sent a card to yourself <laughs> I hope not if you like to receive cards don't forget we do have that monthly card swap that we do and um, it's a lot of fun and everybody has such great ideas okay so there's that so now we need um, a little bit of cheer. And a little bit of cheer looks like, so that has the darker dots. A little bit of cheer has dimensionals, and then the other little saying has the glue dots. Okay, we're good. Okay. So this 
piece they have one, two, three. So one in the center and two. One in the center. So does anybody have any questions on anything or um, anything you need to chat about or anything you want to share? Now this is the place to do it because what happens here stays here too. So let me know if you're interested in any of my upcoming events. I'd love to have you come and stamp with us. We have a lot of fun. And of course the bingo is definitely fun. And if maybe the stamp class that I'm offering, if maybe you don't live in the area and you're interested in it, let me know. We can do a class in the mail for sure. And I can send you all the materials and you can stamp from home. So this is going to go, it looks like a little bit up here, a little note of cheer. And I'm off a little bit, but I'm not going to worry because this is handmade. A little note of cheer. Got three notes of cheer. A little note of cheer. And then we have the rest of the saying, which will be with the blue dots. And it says, what does it say again? I am here for you today and always. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. All right, so let's put our little, um, we have to use three of those, one in the center, two on the ends. So definitely check your calendar, check out the events, mark your calendar, sign up, register, and um, come and join us. You meet some great, great people. All my stamping people are wonderful people. Everyone is very welcoming, very helpful. You can meet some new friends. Now that we're kind of, you know, trying to get back into normalcy, um, everybody can use a little out and um, creativity. And this is going to get tucked right up under here. Oh, I'm off a little. So when you stick it on, don't press it all the way down. And tuck it up under here. There we go. How pretty that is. And we're going to put gems on that too. So getting out and stamped together is just a lot of fun. You know, life is so busy all the time. We never take time for ourselves. So just set aside a day or so to attend a class. Maybe learn some new things. Go home and be inspired. A lot of people, that's the biggest thing I, I hear from them is, Oh, I can never do what you do. I don't have the ideas. We don't have to. Heck, I don't always. Oh, I need one more there. I don't always have ideas either. That's why there's thousands of demonstrators out there that are always willing to um, inspire us and help us along the way. So let's tuck this under here. That. Case. Yep, definitely. Copy and share everything. Or we also know it as copy and steal everything, but we're not stealing, we're sharing. Okay, so let's see, where are our gems for this one? We have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're going to have some gems left over. We can use on another project. So let's do one, and we'll do it like assembly. One. And being a part of my team is also a lot of fun. We get together once a month. We cooperate with another team. And we do stamping and we share just things that go on in our lives. Um, you make new friends there. Get some great ideas. We go over business topics. And um, it's just a lot, of, a lot of fun. Again, you know, life's too short. Gotta have fun. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. Okay, so one, two, and then we have the little ones. Three, four, five, and, oh, 
if I already did the big ones. I just do need three little ones. One, two, and you learn how to count. Three. <laughs> all right, let me clear off all of that. Okay, so there we go. So let's bring them all in. I have all these backgrounds. Well, that's, here's a good thing for that. Where is my little ladybug? Oh, here she is. Got this little ladybug thing from the Zon. Pick up all these background things. Can you hear it picking it up? Let me move my iPad. Got a couple more on here. Okay. There we go. Thank you, Ladybug. Okay. Isn't she cute? Alright. So we have all of our cards. A little note of cheer. You make life brighter. And you're on my mind and in my heart. And all of our coordinating envelopes. So I would think that this one, let's see, the blue ones, I love these. Look at the scallop on them. They are so adorable. I would think the blue ones would go with that one. I would think, you can mix and match, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to put the pink ones. with the butterflies and then these I'm going to use the green ones that's Dory again so look at how pretty they are oh my gosh do you not love them and I still have a whole bunch of the gems and I still have a whole bunch of the glue dots so I'll put them in a little packet I also have a whole bunch of the little dimensionals left super cute um, what I do with the box this would make a great gift because the box is super fun, very plain. If you don't want the Stampin' Up, this all comes apart. Turn it inside out. But how cute would it be if you took this, maybe tied it with a little ribbon. So let's put these in here. Let's do all the envelopes on the bottom. And um, maybe someone you know can't get out to the store for whatever reason you can make up all these cute little cards oh there's another envelope tie it with a bow and make a great gift for someone that needs a little cards to send out let's put them like this so when they open it they'll be like oh it's so adorable so look at that how cute is that? You can close this up, tie a ribbon around it, and what a great gift that would be. What do you think? Yes, you can use DSP. What is this call kit called? This one is called Notes of Cheer Card Kit. And I um, can't quote you on the price. I don't really remember, but I know it's really inexpensive. And don't forget, we still have all of these pieces that um, we can use the other side to stamp on, sponge on, you know, do whatever. Don't throw any of those away. You can use that. And you can even use the leftover on here to, um, to make something else or to use this to sponge. You know, there's, you know, don't throw anything away because everything has a use. So, isn't that cute? Look, you open up and you're like, oh, look at how cute. So I'm going to take one of each of these out. And I am going to send one of each of these cards to someone here on the live for joining us tonight. Let me get the envelopes so that I can brighten your day. And when you go to your mailbox and you open it up and you see something fun, I'm going to put these right in here along with all my little extras. And um, this way you'll have something fun to to greet you when you open your mailbox. Look how cute they are. Oh my gosh, so adorable. Okay, all right. 
So who wants to win some cards? Who wants? Oh, you're welcome. Who wants to win some cards? How many do we have here? How many people are here? Let me know. Let me see some emojis if you want to win a card. Yes, you want to win a card? Okay, um, so how should we do this? Anybody have an idea? How should we do this? Let me get a sip of coffee while we talk. Me! <laughs> yes, yes. I want to win. I want to win. Okay, let me get... Um, Kathy does not want to be included. She has the kit. So how many are here? Um, there's Mary, April, Lori, Fran. Kathy doesn't want to be included. Is that all that's here? Okay. So let me do, let me do it this way. Mary. Fran. April. Who did I miss? Lori. Is that everyone that's here? Everyone is here? Two, three. Mary. I'm going to roll them up. Fran. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send one to all of you. So this will, um, let me roll this up. This will determine which one you'll get. And the person that doesn't get picked will win. How did I do really roll those? This way. We'll get one that I choose. How about that? Oh, Lori, you just don't want to stay closed there, do you? Okay. Okay, so here we go. Let's mix them up. So card number one will be this one. And that goes to April. So that I will send out to you. And I believe I have your address. I think I've talked about this before. So card number two will go to Lori. Lori, you will get, let me put it inside the card in case it doesn't, let me do that. Lori, you will have that go to you in the mail. Card number three will be Mary. So Mary, that card will go off to you in the mail tomorrow. And Fran, which card would you like, Fran? Pick one. Do you want the note of cheer, the butterfly, or um, the three butterflies? Let me know, and I will choose that card for you. So you get a card, and you get a card, and you get a card, and you get a card. Friend wants the butterfly. Okay. And Kathy, I will send you something else. How about that? And Fran will get the butterfly. Okay, so the butterfly had what color? It had pink. Pink and blue. So as soon as I'm done here, I will go ahead and write these out. And I will not write anything on the inside so that you can forward the love to someone else when you receive them. And um, I want to thank you all so much for joining me. Yes, congratulations. You are all winners. Everyone is a winner. And um, definitely check out these kits. Um, you, you are all winners. Yes, of course. Check them out on my online store at stampinsuitcreates.stampinup.net. And, um, oh, you're, you're so nice. Um, and see if there's, you know, there is something in there for everyone. Definitely check them out. 
So I want to thank you all for joining me. Thanks so much for the well wishes and all that you do to help support my small business. And I wish you all a very happy Independence Day. Whether you're staying home and enjoying your own crafting or um, meeting with family and friends and just be safe. And um, thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you back here again real soon. Don't forget to check out my events. I'd love to see you, meet you, and or do one online if that's possible. All right, everybody. Have a good night, and we'll see you back here again real soon. Bye for now.